Hi everybody. I'm back at Hotel California. We've got two walls in. I'm gonna put the third wall in today. So I'm gonna kind of walk through a little bit of what we're planning for this space. As you can see, this uh, we have the floor of the bus is completely open right now. And if we were inside the bus, this is our living room. And this is the side of the living room that will have a couple chairs. So one side of our living room is going to have two chairs. The other side is going to have a couch. And so our plan is to kind of build out a little, I don't know what to really call it. It's like an encasement, I guess, that will have a little tunnel. And that tunnel will have ramp. And that ramp will go from about here down. Then we're thinking we'll have like a ledge, something for the cats to sit on, and then down here we'll have their litter box. What's cool about this space is that it's kind of perfect size for one large litter box, the one that our cats already use, a litter genie, which if you're not familiar that's where their litter goes. It's kind of like a diaper genie but for cats. And then in here in the back we'll have storage for dog food, cat food, litter, etc. So it's really kind of the perfect space. This wall that we've already put in here has insulation already. This wall will have insulation. We're gonna put foam board insulation behind this wall and then we'll put rock wool behind this wall uh, eventually. This is all kind of a work in progress. We're really just doing like the minimum amount necessary so that we can move in and that the cats can be safe and, and as comfortable as possible. Anyway, these walls are gonna be, we're just gonna paint them and on one of them we're gonna put ceramic heater. They're really flat, don't take up much space and it's just a really nice radiant heat and it's not a dangerous type of heat. It's a way to make sure that that even when we're, you know, in Canada, we will have a space for the cats to use the bathroom that's not frozen down there. <laughs> also, we got these trash pads. We got two of these and we'll attach these to the walls as well. So, you know, the cats have all the cat luxuries that they require because you know how cats are. I did some measurements initially, but I'm gonna redo them because you know how that goes. This piece right here is gonna end up in this little spot, so. I'll work on that in just a bit. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> right now I'm just gonna do measurements for this side wall and what I learned from this back wall here is I measured like looks like it's 42 and a half inches but when I cut 42 and a half inches well it was too tight I learned my lesson Patrick says this all the time but uh I'll repeat it we don't always know what we're doing we're figuring it out as we go so it's okay we make a lot of mistakes I've got right at 32 inches so I'm gonna mark it 32 inches and then um I'll probably do like I don't know 31 and 14 16 whatever that <laughs> I don't know uh, something like that math man you know if they would have just taught us math by letting us build stuff in school I would have done a lot better oh well, that's interesting of course so it's at the bottom it's exactly 32 and at the top it's like 32 and three quarters oh my god let's go cut some wood we ripped that apart so I'm gonna have to do something different <clears throat> Can't find the chalk line. <laughs> we found the chalk line. <laughs> it took a moment. I should say Patrick found the chalk line. Give credit where credit is due. I'm gonna call this bottom. Top, 32 at the bottom. And 32 and 3 fourths at the top. This is gonna be interesting. For somebody that doesn't really know much about woodworking, this seems like a fairly complicated situation. So we are at 32 and 3 quarters at the top, right at 32 on the bottom. And I wanna cut on this side of the line. Wish me luck! This is for people like me who are still learning how all this stuff works. There's that guide right here. So I'm gonna cut on the left side of the guide and that will make it so I'm cutting off a bit more than what I measured. All right, but let's give it a try. Do you wanna see the brilliance of what I did? The top of that is 32 and three quarters. The bottom is 32 exactly, but I wanted to give it a little bit of room because last time it was so hard to fit everything in. So now the bottom is, you know, just a bit less than 32 and the top right between 32 and a quarter and 32 and a half. So I probably cut a little bit more than I should have, but that's fine. We came up with a new thing because I'm a terrible high fiver. Ready? <laughs> he hurts my hands when we high five and it touches my ring. He's big and strong. He doesn't realize how strong he is. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, that's interesting. Okay. The gas shirt's kind of in the way, so I just gotta figure out how to work around it. This is crazy. I think I might have to cut a couple inches off the top because the gas strut's getting in the way and then I guess I'll just, I don't know. I guess that's what a dry fit's for. Figure out all the reasons it won't work. And I'm also gonna use Patrick's idea here. He said, why don't you just cut this half, like right here, and then it'll fit more easily. And I'll just cut a notch here. Solve the problem. Oh my god. This thing is so catty. Let me just show you how crazy this is. Right here, I can fit all my fingers in there. And down here, it's tight. And here, it's tight at the top and uh, just a little bit at the bottom. Oh, I don't know what to do. I mean, it's not gonna be perfect no matter what. Down here, we don't really want there to be space because we don't want the cat litter or anything like that to be able to get into that space. I'm gonna kinda try to work with that and see what I can do. It fits good enough. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take it out and I'm actually gonna sicaflex some wood strips. One here, one here. And then I'm going to put insulation in between those strips. And the strips are so that I have something that I can attach this to, like we did over here. That's the kind of weird things that we have to do around here. So let me show you what I'm gonna do with these little panel pieces right here. Got one, looks like this will fit fairly well in here. And so basically you can see that there's a little thing in the way there. I'll just take a bit of that off. This whole thing should slide in. And then here, same thing. I'll cut a bit of a notch here, another notch here. But I will deal with those in a minute. Right now, I'm gonna take this wall back out and uh, secure those strips. Hi, Percy Bear. This is my kid, Percy. Hi, honey. How are you? How are you, baby? Boop, 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 boop. Is that actually videoing me? Yep. Okay. Say hello to the people. Hello, people. Happy Sunday. Except it's Saturday. I mean, they don't know that. Nice. I want to. I want to just try this now. I'm very excited. And now it's gonna go in like this. So. This work is tricky. Okay, so. Let me go back out and go back in like this, like this, like this, and look at that, that's gorgeous, gorgeous. Good job. And like this, ouch. <laughs> There's only so much room in here. Like this. Yeah, cool. That is all for today. Tomorrow we will come back and that wall should be secure. Then I will squish insulation back behind it. There's a nice pocket back here where we will put insulation. And then this will go on top. We'll screw that into those corner pieces and then uh, I'll paint the walls. So that is it. All right, see you tomorrow. All right. Hi everybody. So back at the bus this morning and yesterday I got this wall in. Uh, in a little while we're going to stuff insulation down inside this wall but I'm gonna start by filling in this gap. You can see we got this big gap here and of course that's got to be filled so the cats have their their safe place. So we cut this in half because we were gonna have to you know cut a notch here anyway so they're gonna kind of fit like this eventually but I'm gonna be cutting some notches today and making sure that uh, all the little metal pieces have a place to go. And so that's gonna be my my first job. So here we go. Uh, so about right here. And this is not an exact science, 
I've uh, learned about myself that I'm not great at doing things that require you to uh, be exact. I'm getting better. You know, Patrick's been teaching me certain things about the tools and, and whatnot, but uh, yeah, I prefer to sort of estimate, <laughs> and sometimes estimating is how you get in trouble. So I've decided I'm gonna cut this off right here because we don't use these anymore. This is from back when this bus had a different locking system. Here we go. That was so easy! Oh my god! You're getting really good. <laughs> Do you think I should get this? Let me give it a try. Smoking. It's literally smoking. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> that seems like it'll be good. Of course, nothing square. We're gonna have some kind of weird little pieces we've gotta fill in. Good lord. Okay. but we'll see. There we go. So... Okay, show you up close what's going on here. This I did fine. It's just a little bit more than it needed to be, but uh, there's a little bit of a gap, but that's all right. There's still a gap here. So I'm wondering, should we be using a wider piece of wood? I can certainly do that. I can start off with a piece of wood, but here's the deal. It's like, it's perfect down oh, here. Yeah, perfect. All right, a little notch there, that's all right. And obviously nothing is square, right? Down here, it totally fits about the way it's supposed to. And then as you go up, there's a big cavernous wedge. But for today, we're going to attach these boards one another and then I will fill in this gap up here and we will call it good. We're not going for perfection on this bus. We are going for is it comfortable? Does it look good? Is it functional? Perfect would mean we would be working on this bus for six years before we moved in and we're gonna be moving in in about six months. Oh my god. GoPro stop recording. GoPro stop recording. GoPro stop recording. <laughs> GoPro stop recording. <laughs> Okay, one thing at a time. My mantra of the day. I'm trying to get too many things done at once. Look at that! I don't know if you can see how cool that is, but that's pretty cool. I cut a little edge. We'll see if it fits. It might need to be... It's a little wonky. Table saw. That, that is perfect for the table saw. Yeah, but you did this without the table saw. Yeah, under duress, and I did it wrong. Under duress. <laughs> Do a real. Do a real. Okay. Let's see here. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm here working on Hotel California. All the walls are in, and today I'm working on filling in this little, this little lovely little gap right here. <laughs> and I'm very proud of myself because I just made this cut. It's it's ugly, you know? I mean, it's not perfect, but I did it with this multi-tool and it worked. So I'm very excited. We're making progress. Oh my God. It's like meta over here. I'm, I'm videoing while videoing while taking photos. This works, ha <laughs> ha. I can't believe it. Bob's your uncle, as they say. Oh man, I just ran out of sick of legs. <laughs> Why is the world against me? We should really be sponsored by like sick of legs and rivets. <laughs> it's pretty much <laughs> what holds this bus together. <laughs> it's not perfect, but it's done. So now this wall is complete. 
All these walls are complete. Final step for today is one coat of paint. We're gonna use the same color as we have on the top of the bus just because we have some of that. And uh, it'll be easy to do. Probably the last step before I'll call this done is I'm gonna sicaflex all along the floor and the seams of the walls just to keep those airtight. Since we're trying to have this be a climate controlled space for our babies, we will make it pretty and we don't really care too much. I just wanna have kind of a protective covering over the wood and make it look a little less like it's a construction site. <laughs> It's funny the things we do for our animals. They probably don't care about half of them, but they make us feel better. So that matters. It's a little funky looking because oriented strand board OSB does not like to be painted. But the most important part is that we have three walls and this wall has insulation behind it. This wall has insulation behind it and the paint is still wet. That is the most important part. I am going to come back and sycaflex all of these seams once this paint dries. Uh, Hotel California will be 100% complete after we have put our floor in. Then we can cut out our little tunnel with our ramp and we're going to have our, our little uh, platform and right now we're thinking it's probably gonna be on this wall but we'll see you know we've got three walls to work with and we'll see which one is the right one which one makes the most sense so we're done with that for now and the next thing I'm gonna start working on is cleaning out the inside tearing out the rest of the interior floors so that we have a blank slate and we can actually start building in there it's very exciting I can't